if somebody was in sexual health but wasn't confident enough to do it, I would suggest shadowing me or somebody else that delivers sexual pleasure work. I would suggest accessing some training or kind of familiarisation with some resources. Um, I'd look at some worst case scenarios. So what is the worst thing that is going to happen? You're going to go bright red, you're going to get embarrassed, they're going to call your names. And why is that so bad? I train professionals who work with young people. So I train social workers, teachers, youth workers, um, voluntary sector workers. Um, and actually break down the terminology of sex as well. What does sex mean? What, what acts are included in that? What acts are excluded? And then um, moving on from that, well, the whole afternoon's around pleasure and how to be sex positive. Because I do sexual health all day long, it's really easy for me, I think. And I, and I get that, you know, just come and spend some time in a sexual health clinic. See the kind of things that we ask people. See how people aren't absolutely abhorrent of your question if you've set it in the correct context. And see what a difference you can make if you just make a bit of an effort. I think it's valid for, for people who are working in sexual health to say I'm not confident. What we then need to do is to move on, is to shadow with each other, to access training, to look through the resources. And it will have positive outcomes. And everybody loves a positive outcome. <laughs>